Hey fam, how y'all doing? My name is Cole and welcome to our Gases. Today we're playing Minotaur Hotel and last time uh, there was a traveling dragon in the river. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Where we at? <clears throat> he hadn't realized how bone deep weary he'd become, but now with the rushing waters caressing and embracing him, he stills his mind for the first time in centuries. The warm currents feel familiar, like an old friend, an old lover, welcome, welcoming him to a home he left behind long ago. <clears throat> I had a bunch of cookies. <laughs> so I was like, it's, it's kind of gross in there right now. <laughs> As he lounges against the riverbank, feeling the hard, smooth pebbles beneath the swirling, flowing river enfolding him, Kota grasps a that familiarity. He allows his mind to wander along with his hands. Okay. Over his shoulders and across his chest, his claws picking at the ridges between his scales. Down to his belly, across his sides and hips, his thighs. Mm. What am I voicing? What am I voicing today? Oh my God. <laughs> Don't, don't be extra curricular activities. Don't do it to me too. Don't do it to me too, but it's always hell. Um, <clears throat> hmm. As his pensive thoughts sink into his warm haze of his meditation, a finger brushes the soft scaled lips of the, yeah, of the, of the dragon's crotch. Okay. 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 Okay, we're gonna put a timestamp, right? We're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna timestamp this video, okay? Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna timestamp like last time, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, I was feeling a little down today, but this cheered me right the fuck up. Thank you, thank you, uh, the people who made me this hotel. I can't think of y'all names right now, but I really do appreciate it. As the slips, as the, uh, shall it be sensual? Like, as the slips inside, teasing the sens sensitive inner flesh, that finger becomes someone else's, someone from long ago. Ooh. Go ahead, relive your past, I guess. He can almost feel their breath on his ear, hear the low rumble of their purring voice. The low rumble of their purring voice. Ooh. Right, so we, could, we could go lower, I guess. Colts' heart flutters, flutters along with his eyelids as the fingertip within within him brushes against a spot that makes his toes curl and his breath hitch in his throat. While you're in the river? <laughs> I'm sorry. The slow, gentle caress of the river waters of his home isn't the only thing the dragon has longed for all these years. It's been years? Damn. He can feel the flesh within the hidden length of his manhood, stirring at his thoughts, the desire, the need. Bruh, I didn't think I was going to go this route. <laughs> go ahead, Kulta. Um, With a long sigh, Kulta reluctantly draws his finger out of himself and moves his hand back to his stomach. He rubs over his body, up his chest, to his neck. Okay, Kulta. You scared me for a second. He half remembered. Uh, a a half remember poem flickers through the dragon's mind as he hands as his hands scrub as, yeah as his hands scrub away the dust and sweat of his journey. I like to wash. All right, okay, <clears throat> Kulta, right? <laughs> base, right? Base. I like to wash. The, I like to wash the dust of this world in the droplets of dew. Is that a haiku? I haven't done haiku in a while, so I don't know the rules behind it. With dewdrops dripping, I wish somehow I could wash this perishing world. I should have ate no cookies. I should have ate these cookies while I recorded, but I did, and I loved it. And I regret nothing. <clears throat> his breath, his breath gusts out of his nostrils. As his hands falls to his sides, the river takes over, stroking his scales and limbs with its current. Its comforts a pale echo of what the dragon longs for. Won't you come and see loneliness? 
just one leaf from the carry tree. Basho, right? <laughs> Yo. Whoops, can I show that in the Christian uh, visual novel? Koza's eyes snap open as his, as his head turns. He didn't hear anyone approach, and yet there stands a man by the tree line. Oh, damn. Okay. Give me a sec. <clears throat> Judge me thoroughly. Sorry to sneak up on you like that. You didn't mind. You don't mind some company, do you? Sounds like you could use it. Damn. <laughs> it's always cultured. Eh, eh, uh, no. I don't mind at all, please. I.E. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I don't mind at all, please. The dragon's... The school's... School's? The dragon school's his face into a welcoming smile. And justice the man forward with a languid wave. For a moment, Kota is worried that his nakedness might embarrass his impromptu guest. But the man settles comfortably on a on the river, river bank nearby. Yeah. <laughs> the dragon scoots closer to his discarded clothes. Sorry again. I've been walking all day and my feet are killing me. The stranger kicks his shoes off with a long sigh and then slips his feet into the water much like Kota did earlier. Downstream from the dragon which makes Kota smile as he gives the man a nod. Mm. Believe me, I do not blame you at all, or at all. I myself have only stopped here for a moment's rest. It's a place that you found, even if it's only to rest for a moment. Where are, where are you headed from here, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, here and there. I'm more of a wanderer, you see. And you, uh, the dragon looks to the stranger with a polite but expected, expectant expression. In my new clothing, I feel so different. I must look like someone else. I don't know how to do pacing with poetry. Ah, a fellow fan of uh, Masuo Sensei's works, I see. That's right. My friends call me John. Jean? 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 Jean. I'll say Jean. Call me Jean. I was making a delivery, but I got just a little bit lost. <laughs> the man rubs his back, uh, rose at the back of his head with an embarrassed laugh, and Kota lets out a soft chuckle. Ah, uh, but it's when we are lost that we are most easily able to find ourselves. Of course, it's easier when we have some help. I'd be glad to lead you back to the road, uh, Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Uh, uh, Sumimasen. I am Kota. Well, it's, it's good to meet you, Kota, and your help would be really appreciated. The man offers his hand with a wide smile. And Kota turns to shake Jean's hand as he as he's grown to, grown used to doing with everyone he meets. However, he can't stop himself from giving Jean a short half bow from his sitting position. It's okay. It's fine. Hmm. Pardon me if I'm assuming, but you're from Japan, yes? Hi. That's right. It's been a long journey from the lands of my home, but I have enjoyed the wandering. It is marvelous to see new sights, is it not? Like this river. The dragon gestures to the idyllic landscape surrounding them, the rushing, chuckling water, and the wind through the trees singing a soft, gentle song. The large bows overhead providing shade while allowing diamonds of sunlight to sparkle on the flowing surface of the river, the cool grass on the river's edge. I made my home in such an unspoiled river long ago. Untarnished nature holds special significance to me. 
Oh, we gotta stop. We gotta pause. We gotta pause. We gotta pause. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, <laughs> last video. Last video is like 53 minutes long. So this one, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta bring it back. Gotta bring it back. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Cole. This is Ben Orgasis. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then let me know by leaving a like, subscribe, and comment down below and let me know. Uh, I I did a whole thing. I I, I wrote out a script, but I typed it up. I don't want to bring it up. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. But yeah, I want y'all to comment more because I just I want to see what y'all think. Um. If you enjoy this game and you'd like to play it for yourself, you can do so via the link down in the comments. Uh, what else? I stream every Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern. I believe that is all I have to say, so I'll see you guys in the next video.